OpenAI has announced that they are going to be sunsetting a couple of endpoints, including the answers endpoint. And I was talking to a couple people in the OpenAI community, and it sounds like a lot of people think that this would be super cool, but hadn't really heard about it. So I'm making a video to show how it's used. I'm going to be using the Mantium UI here because I find that it's easier to explain when I have a UI to to show. This is all doable through the OpenAI API and there is a migration guide. So if you think that this is super cool, they are sunsetting this endpoint, but there is a way that you can do this based on their documentation. So the way that this works is you give it a bunch of documents and here I've used a bunch of paragraphs from an earnings call transcript. So recently Okta had their Q1 2023 earnings call and I've taken each of the paragraphs and made them into a document. There are automated ways you can do this and feel free to join the Mantium Discord if you want to talk to us more about how to do that. And then I've given it two examples. So um, you can give it more. If you give it more examples, it'll do a better job. And then a little bit of context. So you can see I was talking to it a, a minute ago. And I can just ask like, what was the good news? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna search through all of the documents that you've given it and then provide an answer based on those documents. And this is different from a generative completion prompt because it's using these documents specifically. So if you asked DaVinci just generally what happened with the Q1 2023 earnings report, it might give you a response that sounds coherent, but I think it's unlikely that it would have detailed information about this earnings transcript specifically. And so this is using the documents from the transcript specifically. And so it'll say the, the good news is that the company had a good quarter and raised its guidance. Yeah, it's pretty good news. Again, so it's pretty, pretty high level, uh, but it's a high level question. What was the bad news? The bad news. Um, and so I'll point out that neither of these is something that I put in the examples. The bad news is the company expects to post a net loss for the fiscal year. Yeah, maybe not such good news. Again, this is different than the examples that I gave it, and it's going through all of these documents to identify this response and then generate a response based on the, the search that it does. And you can ask it specific questions. So uh, how is free, uh, free cash flow doing? And we'll see what it comes back with there. And it says, Octa's free cash flow was 11 million in Q1, yielding a 2.7 free cash flow margin. And so if we go back to, yeah, so I was just playing with this one. And so it yielded a 2.7% free cash flow margin. I'll point out, I think this is kind of interesting, that it's not just using this sentence, right? Like it's not just regurgitating the information, it's actually synthesizing some, uh, some information from elsewhere. So it's saying that Octa's free cash flow, and it knows what we're talking about, even though there wasn't like Okta wasn't mentioned anywhere in the input, it wasn't mentioned anywhere in the context. And so it's pulling that information from other documents and synthesizing it into a coherent response. So I think this is a pretty cool endpoint. And if you have other use cases, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, I hang out a lot in the, in the Mantium Discord, but feel free to PM me as well. And I'm, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear about how you're using it. I'm sure that there are other, other things that this could be used for, and I look forward to uh, hearing about it. Thank you.